A couple of weeks ago, Apple launched a new platform called Apple Business Connect. Just like claiming a Google Business Profile helps businesses to be found on Google Maps, Apple Business Connect is a free tool that allows businesses to make it easy for customers to find their business on Apple Maps. Previously known as Apple Places and Apple Maps Connect, Apple Business Connect now allows business owners like you to claim a location card and manage your business information, including updating photos and logos, adding your business hours, entering details about your services and special offers, which will appear across Apple Maps, Messages, Wallet, Siri and other apps. But the best feature of them all is the ability to track how well your listing does by using the Insights tool. Using this tool, you'll be able to see what people search for before tapping on your card, the number of taps on the various action buttons available, direction requests, etc. Which is perfect if you want to compare your Apple's listing performance with your Google Business Profile. Although Apple Business Connect is unlikely to threaten Google's Maps dominance just yet, it clearly shows Apple's ambitions to grab a large slice of the local business market. And with over 1.5 billion Apple devices in use, the company already has a significant advantage. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can capitalize on this new tool by claiming your business location card on Apple Maps so you can attract more customers. Head over to the Apple Business Connect website. You can find the link in the description of this video. Once there, click on Get Started. On the next window, you'll be presented with three different options. If you run a small business with fewer than 25 locations, select the option at the top. If you plan to claim more than 25 locations, you must select the enterprise option here. And if you are an agency claiming locations on behalf of clients, you'll need to choose the third party option. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will only be claiming one location, which is the most likely scenario for those of you watching it. Click on Get Started. On the next screen, you will be asked to sign in Apple Business Connect with an Apple ID. If you have purchased an Apple product in the past, such as an iPhone or an iPad, you should already have an Apple ID in the form of an email address, which you can use here. Enter the password associated with that email and click on the arrow to move on to the next step. You will be prompted to enter a verification code you will have received on the phone number associated with your ID. Enter it. Once you've entered the code, you'll be redirected to the Apple Business Connect welcome page where you can start claiming your business location. If you don't have an Apple ID, you'll need to create one. Simply click the Create Yours Now link. You'll be taken to a form to fill out, which requires a valid email address and a phone number. Verification codes will be sent to both your email and phone to validate the information you have provided. Once your information has been verified, you'll be automatically redirected to the same Apple Business Connect welcome page where you can also start claiming your business location. To start claiming your business location, you need to agree to the terms of use first. Untick the radio button below that if you don't want to receive any emails about Apple Business Connect or leave it on if you do, then click on Let's Go. This will take you to step one of the process. Using the search box at the top of the page, search for your business name. Apple may already have your basic business information based on information it found online or details submitted by Apple Maps users. If it does, your business should be listed there. If your business is not suggested as part of the list, you will need to create it from scratch and choose the add a new location with this name option. The main difference between claiming a location that already exists and creating one from scratch is the verification method. If your location already exists, you can verify it instantly through a phone call. Verifying a location created from scratch, however, will require official documentation. In my case, the location I'm trying to claim already exists, so I'm just going to click on it. The next screen will display my business name and address and where it is located on the map. Just click on next. You've now reached step two of the setup process. This is where you can either confirm or modify the address of your business location. If there is any incorrect information, make the necessary changes. If you are satisfied with the details, click on next. This will take you to step three. This step involves adding information about your location. If your listing already exists on Apple Maps, some basic information such as your primary category and website should already be filled in. 
If you created your listing from scratch, you will need to add these details yourself. Step four is all about your company details and the ownership of the business. If you own only one location, the company details and location address is likely to be identical. So simply tick the box and click next. If not, just enter the right details. This will take you to the final step where you can verify your location. If your location was already on Apple Maps, you can verify it instantly via a phone call or, if you prefer, by sending an official document which can take up to five days. For a brand new location, the only verification option will be through an official document. Since I'm impatient and my location already existed, I'm going to use the phone verification. This will trigger an automated call from which I will receive a verification code. All I need to do is enter the code and voila, my business is now verified. Click done. Your first location is now officially registered. You will be presented with a slideshow showing you how you can enhance your location. Quickly go through it and click on let's go to access your location dashboard. Now your profile has been verified, it's time to enhance your location card for everyone to see. By default, you should be on the information page of your dashboard. If not, click on the info option on the left hand side menu. Add a cover photo and a logo to your card, starting with your logo. Your logo should be a square in a PNG, JPEG or HEIF format and be a minimum of at least 1024 by 1024 pixels. To make your life simpler, you can use a free graphic design tool like Canva and set the exact measurements so you can't go wrong. I've put a link to Canva in the description below. Fetch your logo from your computer and upload it to your card. Zoom in and out if you need to adjust your logo. Once you're done, click on Cover Photo. Just like your logo, your cover photo must be in a PNG, JPEG or HEIF format, but this time it needs to be a minimum of 1600 by 1040 pixels. Once again, you might want to use Canva to make your life easier. When you're done, click on Save. Your card will update automatically with both images. Next, add a brief description of your business in the About section. Click on Add and describe what your business is all about in 500 characters or less. Then click on Save. Once again, your card will automatically update with your description. Enhance your card further with some photos. Your photos should be in the same format as your logo and cover and a minimum of 720 pixels by 960 pixels. When loading photos to your card, you can add captions to them and an alt text, both of which should be under 100 characters. Once you're done with loading photos, click back on the info option from the left hand side menu to continue updating your card. If you've claimed the location that already existed, your operating hours should already be filled in based on what information Apple could find on the web. Make sure these are correct, if not add them. This is also a chance to add any special hours you may have for specific services or during public holidays. Once you're done, save your changes. Make sure your phone number and website address details are correct and enter them if they are not listed. If you want to highlight a special offer or an event your business is organizing, click on the showcase option. Sadly, this option is not available in the UK yet, so I can't demonstrate it, but I'm sure it won't be long before it gets rolled out worldwide. For businesses with an app, there is a possibility to add a link to it, which will be displayed directly on your card. The next item is your primary category, which you should have selected during the setup process. Click on it to update it if you feel it isn't in line with what you want or if you want to add secondary categories you feel might help your card be found on Apple Maps results. Use the Good to Know section to add attributes or other features your business may have available for customers. The list of attributes available will vary depending on your business type. Just click on the ones that are applicable to you and save when you're done. If, for some reason, your business is temporarily or permanently closed, you can use the status option to update your card. To change the language interface to another language or add a location code ID to your card, click on the preference option. None of these changes will be shown to customers. Your card should now be 100% ready for everyone to see. To access the performance of your card on Apple's search results and determine if it is attracting new customers, you'll need to click on the Inside section. 
This profile doesn't display any data yet as it is new, but this is where you'll find out the number of times searchers tapped on your card in search results, what they searched for before tapping on your card, and the type of interactions that occurred on the card itself, such as requests for direction to your business, website visits, number of calls, and more. Lastly, for those of you who want to delegate the management of their listing, you can grant access of your location to someone else using the team option where three different roles are available. That's it for today, guys. Add your business to Apple Maps today so you can drive more customers through your doors. Remember to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next time, happy marketing.